Here uh, we have a sad math question. Okay, let's go over the information around the question. So there is a figure, uh, the graph of line L uh, is shown in the x-ray plane above. The equation of line uh, N not shown is y equals to mx plus to b, where m and b are constant. Uh, constants. If line L is perpendicular to line N, which of the following must be true? So the given line is L and there is another line uh, whose equation is given, that is uh, y is equal to mx plus to b. Uh, the line L is perpendicular to line N. Okay, so here I'm going to draw line N because it's not shown. Uh, so when I draw line N, it has to be perpendicular to the given line L. Okay, I'm going to draw two possible lines for N, uh, which are perpendicular to the given line. So look at here, I've drawn a line over here. This is a line N and it is perpendicular to the given line L. Okay, let me draw one more line. Uh, before that, uh, let me extend uh, the y-axis for some extent. Okay, now I'm going to draw one more line, uh, which is perpendicular to uh, the given line L. Okay, so I assume this is also line N. I've drawn two possible lines for N. Okay, so there is no restriction in the question. Uh, that is uh, the line uh, N has to be at where or at what point it has to intersect the x-axis or y-axis. So the only condition the question says line N has to be perpendicular to the given line L. So here, uh, let's consider the line over here. So line N is perpendicular to line L. So at the same time, uh, it intersects y-axis on its positive side. So clearly, uh, in this case, in the first case, let's say this is first case. In the first case, uh, the y-intercept of line n is uh, positive because it intersects a positive side of uh, y-axis. Okay, let me consider the second case of uh, line n, which is also perpendicular to uh, the given line L. In this case, uh, line 2, I mean uh, line n, uh, the second case, uh, intersects y-axis at, at its negative side. So in the second case, uh, the y-intercept is negative. So when line N is perpendicular to the given line L, the y-intercept may be positive or negative. So we are not sure. So it depends on at where we have the line N. So uh, we cannot conclude the, the y-intercept because uh, usually when we write the equation in slope in this form y equals to mx plus to b, this b stands for y-intercept, we know that. Okay, so b may be positive or b may be negative. We are not sure about that. So it depends on at where we have the line N, which is perpendicular to L. So uh, we cannot choose option C or option D. Okay, now uh, if I consider both, uh, the, both the cases, uh, one and two, uh, where uh, we have line N, which is perpendicular to L. So clearly when you look at the line N from left side to right side, so it's going up. So it's a slope will be, it's a, it's a raising line, a slope will be a positive value. Okay, let's consider the second case. The second case, in the second case also we have a, a raising line. So uh, the, uh, the slope of line N in the second case also will be positive. So uh, anyways, uh, if I draw a line at anywhere uh, perpendicular to the given line L, always will be getting a rising line, its slope will be a positive value. So uh, here, uh, this is the equation of line N. So here M stands for slope. So the slope always has to be positive. So the correct answer choice for this question is option B.